Do you use Zoho as your CRM? Well, let me show you how you can integrate it with Jotform workflows. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Zoho CRM, you can absolutely integrate it with Jotform workflows. And it is a super simple process to save you a lot of time. So top left-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over from my forms into my workflows. And for this, I'm gonna create a new workflow and I'm gonna choose the one-step approval process. And one thing I love about the workflow process is this really great bird's eye view. So up at the top, we see we have a starting point. Once they fill out the form, it comes down here to an approver. If it's approved, they get an email. If it's denied, they get an email. So let's go ahead and choose that form. Now I'm gonna choose this simple form that I created for this example. It has basic information, name, phone number, email. Uh, but if you need to create a new one, you can absolutely do that from this link right up here. Perfect, so now we need to add in our recipients and we can easily pull from those form fields. And so you can see as soon as we enter that in, that red box goes away. Now let's get that Zoho integration. I'm gonna delete this link from the approved to end because once this person fills out the form, I want it to get over into Zoho. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose integrations. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. We have our Zoho CRM, and we are going to create a record. Now I'm gonna add those links back in, and let's complete our settings. Now, if this is your first time integrating Zoho CRM with Jotform, you're going to need to authenticate your account. So let's go ahead and authenticate. Next, we need to map out what we want this to look like inside our Zoho CRM. So at the top, we need to select a module. I'm going to go ahead and choose contact. Next, we need to choose our layout. I'm going to go and choose the standard. And now we need to match our fields. So let's go ahead and add in a few. And you can keep adding as you see fit. We can also update an existing record. If we turn that on, we need to choose how we want it to find that record to update. I'm going to go ahead and choose the email. Now, if we want to include form fields in the note, we can. We can even customize that note title and we can choose to pull from the form fields for that note. And if your form does have uploaded files on it, you can also send those files over there. If I turn this on, we can choose to either send the PDF version of the submission and or again, if your form has a file upload option. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to send the PDF version. On this form, there is not a file upload, but if you did, you could add that there. And do we want this to trigger any kind of a workflow? You can choose yes or no. I currently don't have any workflows, so I'm gonna leave this as no. Let's go ahead and save. Perfect. I'm gonna head up to publish. Let's open in a new tab and let's get this tested. And we'll submit. Now, because I am the approver on this form, I'm going to get an email to let me know that, hey, you have a form that needs to be approved or denied. But since I'm already in Jotform, I can easily switch from the workflow builder over into my inbox. And here we see we have John Smith. I have action required. I can review his form, his information. I'm gonna go ahead and approve. And since we have integrated with Zoho, it's going to show us that an integration is running right here, waiting for those integrations. And one of my favorite things with workflows is I now don't have to go over to Zoho and try to find his information. I can easily click right here and it takes me straight to John Smith's information over in Zoho. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your Jotform workflows with Zoho CRM, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.